We see a lot of diabetic patients in our office, and one thing that I hear from them quite a bit is that they think diabetic patients should not have surgery. Now, I think what they're talking about is probably elective surgery. If someone has a fracture or something, infection or so forth, they may need surgery, and there's really not a lot of question about whether they should have it. But they're thinking about things that they can decide if they want to have them, such as correcting a foot deformity like a bunion or a hammer toe. Uh, what I want to talk about here is how we manage those kind of things. We can do all the conservative management. We have uh, diabetic shoes that we can do for patients. We can talk about offloaded paddings. We give them all the conservative management we can, but sometimes we do have to do surgery on them to relieve a painful prominence or to prevent a future problem. With a patient that has a foot deformity, they can have excessive pressure and we may not be able to offload it with the shoe modifications or something like that. And then we have to go in and surgically fix that to make sure that they don't get an infection or an ulceration in the future. There's another thing that can happen with diabetic patients, a Charcot foot collapse, where if they have neuropathy, they may not feel things that are going on. Their foot can change and become misshapen, and then a reconstruction may be necessary in order to allow them to walk properly and avoid ulcerations in the future. We have a ability to do diabetic testing in the office as far as vascular studies, nerve conduction studies, and then refer patients to the proper other specialists they may need to make sure that they are good candidates for surgery. And I think what it comes down to is making sure the patient's properly evaluated, you discuss all the risks, you make sure that they're good candidates, and then we follow them closely after surgery when that's necessary. So I think the key is that you get, go to a doctor that can do what they need to do and is familiar with managing patients preoperatively during the surgery and postoperatively.